Today, we're diving into what might be the biggest fishing electronics announcement of 2024, Humminbird's new Mega Live 2 and the complete redesign of their product lineup with the Explore series. Before we get into the details, I wanna be completely upfront about our sources. Everything we're covering today comes from material shown at the Mets trade show in Amsterdam, leaked marketing materials, and some early testing reports from Australia. Until Humminbird makes their official US announcement, we should consider this preliminary information. I know many of you, especially Helix owners, have a lot of questions about compatibility and upgrade paths. We're gonna cover all of that, plus pricing, release dates, and exactly how this new technology stacks up against live scope and active target. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about where this announcement came from. Mets Trade isn't just another fishing show. It's actually the world's largest marine equipment trade show held annually in Amsterdam. This event is typically where we see the first glimpse of next year's marine technologies. We're hearing strong suggestions of a December 9th, 2024 US release, while European anglers will need to wait until February 2025, which aligns with the start of their fishing season. Now, let's talk about something that affects every Humminbird owner or potential buyer, the complete restructuring of their product lineup for 2025. This isn't just a new product launch. It's a fundamental shift in Humminbird's entire strategy. First, the Helix series. It's staying in the lineup with specific models. The 5G2, 5G3, 7G4, 7G4N, 9G4N, and 10G4N. However, and this is crucial, these units will not be upgradable because they can't connect to the new Mega Live 2 technology. Second, we have the brand new Explore series. This is effectively replacing both the Solix line and part of the Helix lineup. Think of it as Humminbird's answer to everyone who's been asking for more processing power without stepping up to an Apex unit. Finally, the Apex series remains as the flagship line, maintaining its position at the top of the range with the 13 inch, 16 inch, and 19 inch models. This three tier structure is clearly designed to simplify the buying decision while creating distinct performance and price segments. Let's break down everything we know about the new Mega Live 2 transducer. Completely new look, housing and receiver design, faster processor for improved performance, better shielding against interference, improved cable quality and robustness, and enhanced snap function in down and forward view modes, reducing the dead play. They've also made some major software improvements, greatly enhanced visibility of both bait and fish across all view modes, or so claimed, more detailed structure display, 2.5 times higher ping rate, resulting in less image noise and faster imaging, built-in image stabilization in both the transmitter and display, and a new open water mode. The package includes the transmitter, the Piper pole bracket, a six meter ethernet cable, a three meter power cable, and all installation accessories. Let's break down the four transducer modes. Down mode maintains Humminbird's traditional strength in vertical scanning, giving you detailed images of structure and fish swimming directly below your boat. From what we're seeing, optimal performance is in the 40 to 45 foot range. Forward mode has seen some serious upgrades. While the original Mega Live started struggling beyond that 65 to 80 foot range, especially with smaller baits, the Mega Live 2 is reportedly reaching up to 130 feet. This will allow you to see your bait or the fish from a longer distance, a direct response to LiveScope's dominance in this area. Landscape mode, like Garmin's perspective mode, has been enhanced for shallow water applications. It gives you that wider field of view when you're working structure or shallow flats, gathering information about the entire area around your boat. But here's where it gets really interesting. The new open water mode with target boost. This is completely new and it's specifically designed for pelagic fishing. Think about those scenarios where you're trying to track suspended fish or follow bait balls. That's exactly what this mode is built for. The key feature here is target boost technology. Instead of trying to squint at your screen to figure out if that's your lure or a fish, target boost is supposedly gonna automatically enhance the separation between the target and the background. They're claiming ranges of up to 165 feet in this mode with enhanced target separation and better visibility for your lures, even at distance. Now, let's talk about processing requirements because this is crucial. Unlike Garmin's black box approach, Humminbird is handling all the processing in the display unit itself, the chart plotter or the screen. This means you need serious computing power, which is why compatibility is limited to either A, the new Explore series, B, the Solix G3 models, or three, 
all Apex units. Let's shift gears and talk about the new Explore series screens, which represents Humminbird's vision for their mid-range future, positioned between the Helix and the Apex. The lineup comes in three different sizes, all featuring 1280 by 800 pixel resolution, a 9, 10, and 12 inch. The technical specs here are interesting. While the units can handle 800 kilohertz, the new Mega Side Imaging Plus and Mega Down Imaging Plus transducers that come with the Explorer don't include this frequency. This isn't a limitation, it's actually an optimization. They found 455 kilohertz is essential for deep water, while their Mega Frequencies handle shallow water perfectly. They're maintaining the same 1000 watt RMS transmission power we saw in the Helix and Solix. The interface shares the same software as the Apex series, and they're using those same robust screw-in connectors for better reliability. You get two micro SD ports on the front panel. It includes built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet networking, full networking capability with Solix G3 and Apex models. Let's talk pricing. Based on what we're seeing, nine inch is gonna be $2,200, 10 inch, 3000, and a 12 inch, 3700. And the Mega Live 2 transducer itself, $2,200. Keep in mind that all these are, are converted from European pricing. So actual US prices may vary when they get officially announced. Let's put all of this into perspective by comparing the Mega Live 2 with its two main competitors, Garmin and Lowrance. Starting with Garmin Live Scope. It has a maximum range of 200 feet. It does require a black box. It has a proven track record. It's currently the tournament angler's choice and it's setting the standard for clarity and target separation. Lowrance Active Target 2 has range up to 150 feet. It requires a module just like the black box. It's known for good shallow water performance and it is popular among bass anglers. Now, Mega Live 2's new capabilities. It has range up to 165 feet in that open water mode. It has no black box required, which is awesome. Two and a half times higher ping rate for clearer image, built-in image stabilization, enhanced interference shielding, and improved cable quality and robustness. So what's the bottom line here? If you're in the market for forward-facing sonar, I'd strongly recommend waiting for the official US announcement before making any decisions. This is especially true if you're a Helix owner considering an upgrade. For Solix G3 and Apex owners, you're in a great position to evaluate the Mega Live 2 upgrade when it does become available. For everyone else, waiting for real world testing results and confirmed US pricing seems like the smart play here. I'll be creating a comprehensive follow-up video once we get the official announcement covering confirmed US pricing, official performance specs, feature breakdowns, installation details, what's included in the box, and real world footage. Drop your questions below about what you'd like to see covered in that follow-up video. Make sure you're subscribed to catch it as soon as the official information is released. Thanks for watching and until next time, take it easy.